Welcome back to the Higher Level Gaming's Death Stranding LP. Okay, so I'm finally ready to play some more. Last time was spooky. There were some BTs, but we didn't get caught this time. Thank God. We're gonna recycle some of these crystals. Nice. Ta-da! There we go. It looks pretty cool. It looks like gold. Yeah, the gold like face masks the dead things have. Got some chiral crystals for us? Yes, yeah, right. These crystals only form in places with elevated chirillium levels. So I've heard. Which makes me wonder if expanding the network had something to do with it. Hmm. Yeah, this chiral network. <laughs> son, maybe. Is a lot of Damn, son. <laughs> Damn, Grinson. <laughs> Work. Cool S rating, and we got a container repair spray. That's right. So we did this before, but now we get to voiceover, so that's better. And we got some new stuff to read, so that's cool. New option has been added to delivery terminal. Excess Cairo crystals can be deposited at any facility. Cool. They'll be added to the stores held on site. These local stores include materials that you can draw upon to fabricate equipment as needed. Cool, so we can store our crystals here safely. Nice. 420 likes. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> That's right. Higher level likes. Distribution Center West of Capital Not City has provided the following new hologram data. Bridges guard, macho, what? The, what? To use this <laughs> right, data, macho. gain access to a level 2 or higher structure and select customized structure. Okay, then. Some of this facility's bandwidth has been shared with Sam. Cool, so ours went up to 3280. More structures can now be built within the chiral network area. Nice. We can do more stuff now as we play this game. As we play, we unlock more abilities and stuff. We can keep building. We don't really build yet. But uh, I'm sure as we get more into it, we will be building more. Cool. Very cool. 24. People think of you as a porter who can be relied upon for basic orders. But with time and effort, you may one day be recognized as a true legend. Oh, there's levels. Achieve, right? There's levels to this shit. You have <laughs> achieved delivery volume grade 10. You can now carry more cargo. Hey, that's dope. Carrying more cargo. That's what I like to hear. Alright, so I gotta stop falling oh, over with the cargo. This is for you. <laughs> oh, we got some more gifts. Oh, we got a gift. Nice. These are just parts we can use. That's container repair spray for patching up cargo containers. Uh, Good for dealing with time fall degradation and all that. Nice, Useful mama. stuff if you and your this cargo have been through the ringer. <laughs> nice. We've added it to your supplies list, story. so it's readily available if and when you need it. Good deal. That's useful that's, to have. Yeah, that's probably gonna be pretty useful. Let's see. Let's uh, put one of these PCCs. Why not? PC. There are a lot of stuff that's not even There's a correlation packaged. between elevated corellium levels and increased crystal formation. This may well hmm. be the result of the network's expansion. You needn't worry though, local chiral density is still within an acceptable range. If you find any more, be sure to collect it. You'll be well rewarded. I'm really tripped out though, like if you come the chiral, chiral network crystals, causes the crystals. One of our facilities. What exactly is the chiral network? Too along with any items you don't need. Everything has its value. What we don't use as is can be broken down into components for R&D and other applications. All right then. Nice. Everything's useful. Don't waste. Recycle. Kojima got a green message too. Lit. So in storage, we've got some of these gross, dirty bathwater grenades. <laughs> 
that we got last episode. How weird is that that they just gave us like dirty water? Like, go throw this on you someone. You know what I'm still confused by? It's like, is it like a P symbol or sign? I mean, we should take one of those dirty bath water grenades. Why not? Keep all that stuff on our back. Our back's about to be fucked up. That's right. It's just, he, Sam's gonna have all kinds of back problems when he's old. So we can use their fabricator. Oh wait, no. That's right. We need to go get them tools so that we can use their fabricator. Let's go get right, them man. their printer tool. The episode has finally begun. Haha, <laughs> like. Like, like, like. Let's not keep people waiting. Nah, let's not keep them waiting. Let's do this. How many likes does this have? 220? Uh, one more. Yeah, that's right, like. Alright, now that we're out here, we have a very important mission to do. We need to get this printer part. It's in the middle of a mule camp. Which means we're gonna actually have to do some stealth now. Um, it's not the BTs though. Oh, it's not? No, it's not the BTs. We have to go into the mule camp. And mules are not BTs. Oh. So it's that way. Dang. Alright, gotta go all the way over there. Sneak past those guys. Maybe it would have been better to not have so much stuff on our back. Like, we're gonna be super visible now, right? <laughs> you have to hide behind a pretty large rock. Yeah. Yeah, right? Like, damn, should I be carrying less stuff? Call it a rule or a habit, but most mules almost always bring stolen shipments home with them. Hmm. Find the post box, steal back the cargo. Simple as that. Sounds simple. But be careful. These guys are armed. <laughs> if this goes sideways, Dang. be ready to fight. How the fuck what kind do of you weapons fight? do we have, though? No! <laughs> what? Let's go to attack. <clears throat> Our fists, are you serious? They have guns. Wow. <laughs> so we're really supposed to fight with... Okay. No, it must be easy. Because, you know, they're expecting us to do it. So it's gotta be easy, right? I guess. As long as they don't pull out the guns. Like, I don't understand how that would make sense. Get up this. Climb this crap right here. Okay. Good job. Yeah, man. Mad climbing skills right now. We don't got much on us. I'm not worried about damaging these. They're not packages or anything. Let's go. A lot of parkour has to be done for these packages. Yeah, Sam, that's right. Before you approach the mule drop oh, yeah, site, we recommend you use a watchtower to confirm the location of the post box containing our cargo. Huh, watchtower, huh? Okay. We're getting pretty close, but we're not that close yet. What's up with this blue line? I guess the blue line is other people's, like, paths, right, that they've made? Other players' paths? Maybe we should go around like they suggest. Hmm. Let's go... Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Let's go up over here and see yeah, what's up from up there yeah yeah I got scanned by that thing that the mules leave but I don't have any packages the drop sites are really deserted so remaining undetected is key keep a low profile and move slowly to minimize noise Okay, we gotta move slowly to minimize noise. How slow? Is this slow enough? I don't know. Alright, this seems pretty slow. I guess slow. you use R1 to find the cargo. Yeah, but I think we're still pretty far off now. Oh, wait a minute. There's some stuff in here. Oh, let's go grab this stuff. Free stuff. That's my favorite kind of stuff. 
But I still want to get up on top and use one of those uh, watchtowers there suggested. Oh, shoot. Did I just fall? I think ah. So. ah! I'm good, I'm good. Let's use that ladder since we, uh. Oh, yeah, we do have, have ladders. It. Why not use it? Oh, what the heck? Alright. It just did it for you, I guess. Yeah, I was gonna line it up, but I think I accidentally just deployed it, so. Alrighty then. That's kind of useless. Well, that worked. Yeah, it, it, it worked out in the end. Okay. Ah, get up there. Get up there. Come on, goddamn. I want to go hiking, but I'm too lazy, so I'm playing Death Stranding. <laughs> right? This is a hiking simulator. It looks really hard, though. Like, glad okay. I'm just playing a game. <laughs> we got a PCC. Selecting structure. Equipped it to cycle through the various structures. Yeah, that's what we want. A watchtower. Yeah. Cost 32 CG, 400 metals. All right. Can't build it right here. Gosh darn it. Ah uh, man, we can't even build this freaking watchtower. No, maybe it feels like well obstacles. There's too <laughs> much. It's a steep slope, slope, and it's like all steep, so. Maybe if we go over here on this green part. There we go. Let's do this. Build it. Nice. 3D print that shit. Yeah. That's dope. 3D printing. That oh. is pretty cool, right? 3D printing has come a long way in the future. Still printing. Four, three. Two, that's a long print job, but I mean, considering it's a whole watchtower. All right. How do they not notice this giant watchtower that just popped up behind their camp, though? Right? It seems like you notice that kind of thing. Okay. I don't see them. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There's one. That's definitely one of them. Okay, good. So we can kind of get the lay of the land here. Alright, there's two. And they're not at their camp. So now's like our chance. Uh, let's go. Those orange boxes Perfect. are the guys that They're all kind of spread out too. Alright, I'm hoping we don't get caught by them. Ah, uh, I'm nervous! Alright, let's use this ladder. Alright, alright. I think we got this. Nice. Oh, I see footsteps. Are those footsteps look are those somebody else's like online those aren't mules I hope Shit. chill BB okay all right we're in their camp oh shit there's a mule right there fuck oh shit this is it they're like all the way in their camp there's a guy right there yeah that's the cargo right there yeah right oh shit right that guy's that guy. right there though Make a noise. Seems like this shit's pretty oh loud. Oh my you god. <laughs> take it all. All of it? I can't take all of it. Oh no, that would be great though if you could. 
What's most useful? Um, and how much does it all weigh? Because that's a serious consideration. Okay, this goes back to the guy. Special device. All right, let's take that back. All right, I don't want to push it too much. Let's let's do that. Okay, that's we're pushing it now. We're, we're pushing it now. Oh no! <laughs> that's pushing it. That's pretty, too much. I it's think it's pushing it pretty far. That's kind of crazy. Uh, what's life if not to stack a bunch of packages? Oh sh! Oh shit! He just stood up. That's not bueno. This muy bad. <laughs> Oh man. You got this. Let's go. Oh, oh shit. Yeah. Yeah. Running. Okay, running. Rapid running. Get the hell out of there. Ah! Ah! They're doing shit. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Alright. Okay, okay. Ah, Sam, run! Run, it's Sam! Like run, Sam! <laughs> run, Sam! Oh, there's three of them. Oh my god, they, they love packages! They love packages! They're gonna get me! <laughs> Whoa! Oh down. shit! Okay, get you going! Get you going! Ah! Oh my god. Dang. Too many packages. Oh, they just scanned for me! Uh oh. They ping my packages. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. And still. Nah, I'm getting the fuck out of here. Packages. I'm getting the F out of okay. here. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Gonna like that rope. That rope just saved us. Alright, cool. We awarded them likes. Let's release them. Hey, we're safe. Damn addicts chasing a cargo high. Shame we gotta deal with their bullshit at all. Chasing a cargo day, high? AI did everything. Deliveries were handled by unmanned vehicles and drones. And all we had to do was sit back and let them work. It sounds it like fun. Revolutionary. Damn near singularity. Damn near no singularity. To take off. But it didn't. Mm -hmm. People didn't like it when we took the human element out of the service industry. Wow. So, after some consideration, nah, we fuck that. In. Make the robots Make do the jobs work. No one really needed and gave you the folks who couldn't live without them. And from there, it snowballed. Now we got cults of cargo chasing crazies. Cargo chasing crazies. So ridiculous. On the lookout for the next order. Make sure you're not him. Yeah, I won't be yeah. him. I'm glad I got through that without fighting, because yeah. I was like, nah. They're like, just use your fist, like, what the hell? Right, that dude threw a freaking electric right. Right. Freaking they have electrical spear at grenades. me. <laughs> right, it was like a spear, he chucked the spear at me, bro, oh, like, yeah. he could have really hurt me. And I just have my fist? <laughs> Are you serious? Nah, man. Damn. You can't even run with all these packages on your back because you're gonna fall. Alright. Well, we made it back. Oh! We made it back and we grabbed some extras. Like, we really. <laughs> we really right. grabbed a bunch Good of packages. Good job balancing it. Dang. I wonder how much more packages you can possibly like carry on your back. It looks ridiculous this already. This is kind of like, like the close to the maximum. I feel like. Uh oh. Whoa. Uh -oh. <laughs> that was not. Uh oh. Yeah, it's this has got to be like close to the most you can carry in this yeah, game. Yeah, I feel like right? it'd be really ridiculous if they let you carry more than this. Sam Porter really. Bridges. Oh, you can hold the triggers to balance, and you can kind of run at the same time. Okay, I see how this works. Cool. Katie, you'll have to take over the controls so you can get the hang of this balancing act. So I can get the hang of what? So you can get the hang of this balancing act. 
Oh my god, alright. Yeah, activate, activate the, the terminal, terminal before I fall over. <laughs> Deliver requested cargo. There we go. Cairo, wait, what? Okay, it says all is ready. Cool. Nice. We did it. Got the packages. Yep. Order number seven? We've only had seven orders? Crazy. Ah, time to get that chiral printer in working order. Sorry to push you through so much trouble, but trust me, it'll be worth it. How? <laughs> it better be. Do I get a gun? Excellent. The unit doesn't have a scratch on it. Come on, give us a gun. Never doubted you'd come through for us. The first thing we want to print, gun. <laughs> Cool, lots of likes. Do we get an S rating? Yeah, S rating. Sam, how are your shoes holding up? Um, Not they're well, okay. I imagine. Conditions being what they are out there. Nothing ruins your day like shoes falling apart while you're on the job. Carry on like that and it's only a matter of time before you injure yourself. I've arranged for boots to be added to your supplies. Uh, good. Bridges standard issue, so they ought to fit you fine. You Alrighty. should always carry an extra pair. But if you forget or run into trouble, you can fabricate another by a terminal at one of our many facilities. Perfect. Definitely need to change. Oh, look, more data. Necrosis and the ancient Egyptian view of life and death two years ago. Blah, blah, blah. All right, cool. We'll go read some stuff at the end of the episode. New structure, bridge. Bridge. You can actually build bridges. Holy shish. <laughs> Holy shit. Whoa. Whoa. Kyle Crystals can now be used at all affiliated facilities. Very cool. We got a lot of likes with this guy. Yeah. I wonder what our next uh, mission is going to be now. I oh, we're gonna see another PB flashback. I like those. Oh, I know, right? We should go downstairs and maybe when we come up, we'll see another flashback. Alright, skilled handler. Continue to strive for greater recognition. Very cool. So we already increased our, bit, our like, delivery level. That's dope. See you around. Congratulations, sir. Oh, it's hard, man, again. A weirdo. A what? This, this guy's a weirdo. What? It is transmitting data into the past. That's crazy. Suffice it to say, we have yet to fully grasp the fundamental nature what of the, the heck? and the beach which we have come to. We send ourselves on. back in time. What like in our relationship with it to that of primitive man's with fire. Is it useful? Quite. Is it dangerous? Undeniably so. Nevertheless, we have decided that the reward outweighs the risk. Gotta risk it for the biscuit. As the BTs are linked to the beach. It stands to reason that further study and experimentation could be of considerable benefit. Yeah. I want to figure out what's going on in this weird, weird ass game. Rest assured, I will keep you apprised of what I learn. You have my word. Alright. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery. Cool. New order. Let's go ahead and. Uh, I guess they took all the lost cargo we had at the same time. But we still have stuff on our, like a lot of stuff on our back. What is all this? Right, so this, it feels like we should be dropping off. Okay, metals. Interesting. I guess we can drop that in our locker. I don't think we need to hold on to it. Because our private locker has like everything that we take from place to place. So, yeah, why not?
So we got some mule boots. Our boots are 42% damage. At one point, do they stop working like good boots? Because that seems like, you know, we could use them a little while longer. But let's go ahead and, uh... Put these mule boots on. A. Hey. So those are in good shape. Old-fashioned design. Isn't particularly hard wearing. Tend to break fairly easy. Oh well. They're in better shape than these. And let's put these back in our private locker as well. Maybe we can sell them. Let's see. So we don't have any metal. I wonder if not having metal on our person means we can't build like watchtowers. Hmm. That's something to think about. We'll go figure that out. I always press circle when when I want to leave, but it's it's you hold X. It's weird. Oh well, yeah. We we should check out BB. But first, we've added a bridge schematic to your PC. But first, this. The first step is laying the foundation. After which, you'll have to supply additional materials to finish the job. I see. Plenty of rivers and canyons could do with a good bridge, you know. Take a stroll across one you built yourself, and I guarantee you'll be glad you made the effort. Give it a try. Dang, building bridges for real. Bridge foundation. The foundation of a bridge. One of the found. Once the foundation is in place, add material to level the structure and complete construction. When constructing a bridge, use L2 to prepare it, and R to move the camera up and down in order to select its length. 50 or 80 meters materials required 800 metal wow that's kind of a lot it's kind of a lot of metal that's definitely a lot let's see what we have in our private locker what were you gonna say you wanted to do first katie i was gonna say um um i want to i, I want to energize with some energy particles You want to energize with some energy particles. Yeah. You want to energize with some fucking energy particles. Oh, why isn't it? Oh, there we go. We should go to our room now. Monster. 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 This Consume. episode brought to you by Monster Energy. I wish. <laughs> kind of is though if you think about it because without monster there's no death stranding sam would have nothing to drink on his deliveries i guess he'd have to just drink water mm, see it just wouldn't work <laughs> this game is just not possible without energy drinks we have new orders to take on here we go to the wind farm yeah, I remember them saying that we needed to go to a wind farm. I wonder if there's, like, any value to just going off in a random direction, though. Right? I'm kind of wondering, like, what bridge. the next um, delivery we have to do that's going to lead us to more, like, story. Yeah, this kinda. is the one. The wind farm is definitely the one. Yeah, it seems like it was Because this like was that. the next uh, actual, like story place we were supposed to go. Gotta admit, I'm kind of missing all the cutscenes, man. You're missing the cutscenes. Yeah, Lame. they're pretty good. Nah, I just want to keep delivering chill packages and relaxing. <laughs> Let's see. That one guy when you delivered it, <laughs> he said, damn, son. Should damn, son. That's a whole lot of packages. Alright. <laughs> Alright. To the wind farm it is, then. It's probably going to be creepy shit on the way, though, unfortunately. Oh, of course. It says there's ghosts steep, and there's cliffs to fall off, and there's a river. It's going to oh, mess us man. up. All of the stuff that can mess you up is on the way to this one. It's like every hazard. Now, you've done a fine job expanding the Cairo <laughs> network. <laughs> Thank you. But to make the most of it, we'll need to generate more power. Let's do it. We'll have to make a few hops before we can link up the closest city to. 
Once this wind farm is part of the chiral network, we'll be able to route the energy it generates through the beach. Hmm. Unlike traditional transmission Past methods, death? nothing is lost. We can provide power to distant regions and utilize facilities there as electrical substations. That's pretty trippy. You want to deliver a key component. Should be finished printing. Take it to the wind farm and get us in business. Nice, everything just 3D prints too. Yeah, the feature is super advanced style. Cargo condition requires less than 50% damage. Deliver the power supply unit to the wind farm. Connect it to the chiral network. Easy peasy. Construct a bridge. Do we want to do this one? Why not? Hey, Sam, mind doing me a favor? Let's build There's some bridge bridges. That needs building. Over a river just outside that distro center. It's Let's too do deep it. to afford, and we'd like a long term solution. The foundation's Seems already been laid. Simple. And everything required to finish the job should be in storage. All right. All you need to do is carry the remaining materials to the construction area and use them to complete the bridge. Let's build some bridges. Out, there isn't enough there for our needs after all. You'll have to come up with the rest on your own. Hmm. I know you've got a lot on your plate right now, but remember, this bridge will make your life easier too. All right. We got to do it. Why you got to say that? I just want to go to the wind farm. Nah, 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 nah. Just out of the way. Fabricate equipment. Where do we need to fabricate to go to the wind farm? Probably the a ladder, bridge? right? We did have like um. I guess that's all we got the blueprint. Bah, the blueprint for bridges. Or oh, whatever. Yeah. Looks like we have everything else, so let's just take a couple ladders. Mhm. Mm that's all we need. Power supply unit. Yeah, carry that on our back. Ladder. Let's carry that uh, on the tool rack. Yeah, there we go. Our nice, other ladder. Um, attach our other ladder to our suit. Yeah, why not? There we go. Perfect. Styling. There we go. Confirm. Getting better at using that menu. Hello. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'll do it, geez. <laughs> Katie, Order why don't time. you take over now? No, because I'm going to go straight to the wind farm. <laughs> like, fuck the bridges. <laughs> Katie said, fuck bridges. <laughs> How do I add this one? Can you add it? Okay, select. There we go. Cool. We don't need any more materials. We're good. Oh, shit. Metals. Alright. Carry on back. Cool. That's a lot of metal right there, man. It really is, though. Are you, are you gonna That's be okay? That's 400, <laughs> but we need 800 to actually finish the finish freaking what? thing. To finish, um... We need 800 to finish the bridge, and we should try to do it in one go. So let's drop off some of this container repair spray for now. Let's put that in private locker. We should... Well, we still have one. We gotta keep one because the package we have is very, very important. Alright. Let's carry a big-ass heavy load then. <laughs> we'll have to come back and get more metal. Cause that's not <laughs> dang yeah having trouble. I feel like it's like a longer intro. Order assigned. Normal. The game's trying to tell us we got a bunch of stuff. Dang. Dang. You can't even walk. Get it Have a pleasant journey. <laughs> okay, Sam. All right, let's do Make this. Make your way to the designated construction area for the bridge. The foundation should already be in place. With your help, we'll have the thing finished in no time. There should be a terminal nearby. Access it to submit additional materials. Alright, this must be the bridge. It, see, it's right here, too. Weapons restrictions it's weapons. not yeah, even it's like close. we gotta go anywhere. See, we probably would have had to do it anyway. Yeah, I mean, we definitely will. 
Oh, that will make our lives easier. <laughs> Sam, looks like you found the site. There should be a terminal nearby. Access it to submit additional materials. All right, hold down options for structure menu. Complete structure. Metal. Add material. Metal. Add material. Confirm. Let's see how much this bridge we can build. Not the whole thing out there. Ooh, nice. Maybe the whole thing? I like how it, it prints. Right? This is sick. Yeah. Alright, I guess Whoa. that was it. Dang. That was dope. Okay, building bridges Dang. is cool. Bridges! <laughs> That's right. That's right. Bravo, Sam. Thank you, thank that you. That should make life easier for a lot of people. You can be sure that every traveler and porter who passes that way will put it to good use. Keep an eye on brother spots that could do Whoa. another well-placed bridge. What the heck is this? What the heck is that? It's a mushroom? That's cool. The wind farm is up there. Let's go get it. Oh. Crystals. Nice. Alright, Oh, Katie. you got crystals. That means wanted... these fucked up things are gonna be nearby. Could be. Or the chiral network expanding could be, eh? Nah, the creepy things are nearby. It said watch out for ghosts. Oh, cool. We can read our mail on our cuff link. We don't actually have to go back to our private room to do that. Nice. If it's this layer, I think so. But let me double check. Mm -hmm. You can always plot out a route just to make sure. Dang, it's pretty far. Yeah, it's farther than I thought, though. Like I thought it was going to be like right up there, but no, no, no. Man, okay. Did it plan? You gotta hold square and then oh, move L. Right. Hold square. So Don't forget them crystals. Hey, want some crystals? <laughs> Look, it's like all weird looking. Pick them up. In the air. Hey, look, what are those mushrooms over there? People just keep leaving their weird mushroom decorations around. Like it. <clears throat> oh, cryptobite. Pick it up. I guess you can leave trippy mushrooms with crypto bites in them. That's dope. Did you like it? Oh no, I didn't. Yeah, leave people so likes, so man. So wow. Just take some stuff. What a D. I don't want to go this way. Hurry up, you slowpoke. There's bad stuff over here. That's bad deep. Thing. You can't climb that dummy. Yeah, I can. Alright, let's see it. No, ah, I told you around. you couldn't. Ah, Why would I? I don't ah, need to. <laughs> I'm scared. Nah, I'm only scared of those creepy things that are gonna come try to eat me. I'm scared for you, bro. You're not a very stealthy person. <laughs> I don't need the rope, really. You're like, that's nice of you, but no thanks. Yeah, all these people helping out by leaving stuff around the world makes our, our job a lot easier, though. Oh, don't forget to pick up packages along the way. Oh, did you see one? Yeah, all the way back down at the beginning of this big-ass slope. Wait, there's somebody up there. Wait, you saw someone? I swear to God, I just saw somebody up there. 
Oh, it's a tree. Okay, nah. Alright, it yeah, would have been pretty creepy if you saw someone. Terrain scanner. Each point is marked by the following icons, indicating an increased level of risk. Terrain scanner can help find the safest route. Very cool. Odra deck. Yes. Nice. What is this? What the heck is that? Go. Sandalweed? What? I'll take uh. it. Never seen that before. I wonder what it's used for. Alright, a package. Hey, there we go. What is that? Where's it going? Medical West. Way Station West of Capital Knot. Alright. Uh, Pick it up. Ooh. Why not? Getting them likes. Trying to help out. You get them likes. You don't have to go that way. That's not the way you're going. No? Nah, bruh. I guess I keep going around. Oh, I see my. No, it's little... up to the left. Or to the right, sorry. Yeah. It's definitely to the right, though. It's not going to be to the left. Probably still pretty far. Let's see. It seems like it now. Yeah, you're like halfway there. It's not too bad. What is hey, this? more mushrooms. Like. <laughs> oh, we're their first light. Want some mushrooms? <laughs> yep, that's right. We're beginning of a a bunch of likes. Alrighty then. Getting kind of creeped out. There's over crystals here. right over there to the right. Don't leave them crystals. Strong wind will make movement what is this? trickier. It will also deplete stamina. Oh, wow, man. yeah. It is harder to walk. Like, hey, why are you leaving all that stuff back there? Um, this I can't pick up. No, you can't pick that up. I meant this. And the crystals. There we go. Turn around. Oh, what Dude, the, the hell? The music scares the shit out of me. <laughs> That's crazy. Wait, take their music. Somebody left this music box. Maybe we can uh, activate the terminal and somehow use it. There's just some lost cargo in there. It's all that's in there. Sad. Dang. I just got a cool music track, I guess. <laughs> nah, I don't think we even got the music track. Like, we can just listen to it if we stay here at this post box. Yeah. <laughs> Chill right there. <laughs> We're not gonna do that. <laughs> nah, you don't need to. Wait, what is that? It's nah, fun. don't grab that. That's too big. Ah, uh, it's raining. You better hurry on up. I guess that's why there's a sign there saying it's gonna rain. Don't leave the crystals. Oh shit, I keep missing them. Yeah, bruh. You gotta remember to be aware of your surroundings. You know why it's getting dark, though? I think that's a, a very good sign that the BTs are coming. So don't stop using R1 to scan, because that'll be real helpful. What's that to the right? The no, right. go back. Go back down, damn it. There you go. Yeah, there, right there. What is that? Pick that up. Memory chips. If you stumble across any memory chips on the road, be sure to submit them via the nearest terminal. There's no telling what kind of rare and valuable data they might contain. What? Be sure to make someone very, very happy with your contribution. Make delivery. What? Alright, that's pretty dope. Memory chips. We need that. We're looking a little tired. A little uh, low on stamina. Let's try to uh, drink some more of this monster energy drink. There we go. Energy particles. Restore us. Energy. 
particles. Get them crystal particles. What is this? Let's uh check out what's in the terminal. No music. Looks like some cargo has been transported to its destination on your behalf. Huh. You can access the share locker to collect it. Interesting. Okay then. Cool. Cargo entrusted by other players to be delivered by their fellow parties can be claimed in shared lockers. Thought we already knew that. Yeah, me too. Dale Cooper, Skull Crew, G Pooch. G Pooch. G Pooch is a dope name. Uh, no. I don't want to do anything here. Oh no. Wait, what? Did you hear that? I heard something say, hey, my name's Sam too. This is funny. This is a small package. I think I can carry it. Let's do it. Ah, uh, we're getting heavy. Alright. Okay, maybe that's the last one. Maybe that's the last one. It's crazy how the wind really does, like, mess with you, though. Uh-oh. Our container's not doing good? It says you can repair them. Yeah. I don't think they are doing good. Oh, man. Yeah, this forest is gonna be a kind of a nightmare to get through. Before we head down into the creepy haunted forest in the middle of a storm, <laughs> we're actually going to end the episode. But before we do that, we're going to read all of these little bits of lore and flavor text. So if you don't want to listen to that, this is the end of the episode. You can go ahead and just click on to the next one and we'll be jumping into more gameplay. Otherwise, stick around and learn some more about the world of Death Stranding. Mules and Drone Syndrome by Die Hard Man. Bridges HQ two years ago. Bridges' primary objective is to rebuild America, and in order to rebuild, one of our main tasks is to reconnect cities and other settlements by reestablishing a delivery network. Okay, that's pretty much what we That's heard. what we're doing. <laughs> Back before Death Stranding, the comms and delivery networks were what held society together. The whole thing was automated, AI managed, deliveries carried out by drones. The belief was that taking people out of the equation would revolutionize the entire system. But things didn't quite pan out that way. Instead, we started seeing cases of what would eventually be dubbed drone syndrome. Too much for some folks to accept, leaving everything to machines and nothing to the common man. Indeed, the oxytocin deficiencies and hormonal imbalances we confirmed seem to back up that assessment, so I guess lack of human interaction was making everyone depressed. Humanity needed to be part of the process, so laws were put in place and we stepped back into the picture again. All the people put out of work by machines who got called up again convinced themselves society couldn't survive without them, and that brought on a whole new disorder, delivery dependence syndrome, they called it. <laughs> Which is funny. It's like if we have delivery men, they'll become addicted to delivering packages. Yeah, they're like, Be I need to deliver this package. <laughs> Be careful with your Amazon delivery dri drivers, guys. Don't trust them. When the Death Stranding tore us apart, the delivery problem spiraled even further. It wasn't helped by the fact that chiral crowds prevented planes and drones from flying, which meant we had to go back to relying completely on human couriers whether we liked it or not. Eventually, delivering goods became all some lived for. They were obsessed addicts, consumed by the desire to deliver. <laughs> Over time, they turned into the mules we know and love today. So they say know and love. That could be sarcastic, or it could be that the mules used to be good guys or something that would yeah. deliver hella packages. But now they steal packages to deliver them? I themselves? guess. I guess. That's, so the package still steal. gets delivered. Maybe. Maybe they steal it and try to deliver it themselves. I don't know. It's so weird. <laughs> Bridge Babies. Dead Man. Bridges HQ. One year ago. I'm kind of new here at Bridges, so I don't know if any of this will be useful to you. Still, I'm happy to talk about BBs if that's what you want. They call me Dead Man on kind of my familiarity with the dead. Get it? I've always been on good terms, you see. He used to have regular little chats back when I worked in the morgue. Is he being serious? He really would talk to dead bodies when he was in the morgue? Because that's creepy. That's fucking scary, right? <laughs> what do you mean? Anyway, that's also the reason I work on BB Maintenance and Research, to learn more about those who are no longer with us. 
But I digress. Fact is, BBs were already being issued into our force in our forces in the field before I joined Bridges. What's more, research into the little guys has already been conducted long, long ago, but no one took the plunge to put what they discovered to practical use. Still, what that did mean is that when Bridges wanted to build our own BBs, most of the work had already been done for us. We just needed to follow the instruction manual, so to speak. So Bridges started making these babies, but someone else invented them. Are they just like a, one of those things that invents themselves, like the time machine? Yeah, that's weird. So like they just like had the formula. Which isn't to say that we have any idea how they work, not how they can detect BTs or how they connect this world to the other side. We still have much to learn about our little friends. One thing is certain, their continued study will lead to a greater understanding of the Stranding and life and death itself. That much I can assure you. Well, I think that's about all I have to tell you today. Hopefully I'll have something new to share next time we chew the fat. See you around, I guess. Did they make him say chew the fat because he's fat? They made him say that. <laughs> This, this messed up. Timefall. I think we might have read Timefall in the first episode. Let's just read them all, just in case so. we didn't. Timefall was first recorded when the Death Stranding occurred, and despite all the years that have passed since then, we are no closer to understanding how or why it accelerates the passage of time for objects and organisms it touches, or why it immediately turns to ordinary water, having done so. He then says, Something in me suspects that the Death Stranding may have warped our perception of the passage of time. Interesting. Not that that's necessarily a bad thing. We humans can conceive of our own deaths and even of the possibility of a place beyond death. Yes, we have the capacity to conceptualize the future, an evolutionary advantage which aided our development as a species. What if Timefall has given us a new supercharged version of this ability, one that will take us to the next stage of evolution? Perhaps we wouldn't need to hold ourselves up in not cities. So he's crazy and thinks that the Death Stranding will save us all somehow from the Death Stranding. Wow. Just just wow. Um, okay, let's go through... Let's see what else. Crypto bios we definitely talked about. Chiral Network 1. Okay, now we get to learn a little bit about this Chiral Network, which I've been really confused about. This, yeah, I really don't know what they This mean one's by Mama, YouTube. babe, so you gotta read this one. <laughs> so the core infrastructure is complete. The basic Cupid-ready Chiral Network Setup is good to go. Now all we have to do is connect Central Knot City to Capital and prove that it actually works. Sadly, I won't be here to see it. I've been assigned to the expedition team's second group, so I'll be heading west with the others. But the people in charge here are the best of the best. They'll have the network operational inside of three years just as planned. I'm sure of it. And while they're seeing to that, we'll be visiting towns and whatnot across the country and putting the facilities in place for when things are finally up and running. Emil and the others in the lead group will be forging the connections and laying the groundwork to make sure everything goes to plan. Afterwards, we'll just need to link it all up with operational cupids. And that should be that. It's kind of like the Apollo, Apollo missions back in the day. How? Whoa. They used a three-stage rocket to get to the moon, right? Well, we're using a three-stage process to do something almost as revolutionary. Well, I guess that's very similar. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm like, how? Then she explains it really well. I'm like, shit, I'm an idiot. <laughs> okay, two years ago, distribution center west of Capital Knot City. Benjamin Hancock. It's been about a year now since we came here with the rear guard. First folks did us the favor of setting up the chiral relay and patching things up before we arrived, so we're doing all right. Not so sure about everyone else, though. Folks back home sound kind of freaked out. We don't know what's going on in Central or Capital, let alone how Ama Lee and others who kept heading west are doing. But something doesn't feel right. What's more, a lot of guys have developed some kind of agoraphobia. Like, the thought alone of going outside scares the shit out of them. <laughs> See the so that makes sense why nobody comes out to see us, I guess. Lame. Yeah. Lame. But that's kinda how our own society is in a way. Like people are like all on their phones and they're more comfortable talking to you through their phone than like in person. It's kind of a like tech induced agoraphobia. See the distro centers and way stations around these parts here aren't like the ones back east. They're much more isolated, out in the middle of nowhere, can't help but feel cut off from the world, and there's not a lot of stuff 
on hand, staff on hand either, which means you often have to do the work of two guys, which can make it that much lonelier too. And then you factor in the terrorism rumors. Jesus, yeah, that sounds stressful. Also, is it, and that's also relatable. Terrorism is also relatable right now. We have a lot of domestic terrorism going on in this country. Also, is it just me or does it feel like there's more mules out there these days? Don't get me wrong. I know they're not out to get us. All they want is our cargo, right? Well, that doesn't change the fact that they're not making our work any easier. Especially since a lot of these, especially since a lot of these guys used to be first-rate porters and could run things around us if they hadn't, you know. Still, for now, the network systems are up and running, and we're just holding up for the day when the second expedition comes through with a working Cupid. Till then, we'll keep things chugging along. That much we can do for bridges and country, am I right? A, to build them bridges, reconnect the country. That's right, brother. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we came through with the Cupid, and we did that. So, good on us. Crawls of the Seam... We definitely read the first time. Egyptians, I think we definitely read yeah. the Egyptian stuff the first time as well. Carillium, Heartman, three years ago. You'd like to know more about Carillium? Well, wouldn't we all? I'm happy to present the latest theories, but you must be aware that this is all that they are. Theories, so it could be none of these. Basically, Kojima's saying, I have all these ideas for what it could have <laughs> been. Here's some of the ones I didn't end up using. Carillium, like dark matter, was born along with our universe and has existed ever since. Just not in a dimension we were able to perceive. Until now, it is the be it is the beach that gives us access to that dimension, and with it, knowledge of Carillium's existence. Not just knowledge of it, of course. We have since observed it coalescing into crystalline form and recorded measurable physical and mental effects on individuals exposed to it. It has reshaped our understanding of reality and proves instrumental in the formation of the multiverse theory of beaches. Whoa, multiverse? So we're doing multiverse stuff as well as connection stuff? Are we connecting the multiverse? What is going on? Well, that would be so cool if we could do that. This is busting my or brain. If we can go to like another universe, that'd be trippy. This game is busting my brain. Chiral matter is not affected by the passage of time. As far as these particles are concerned, none has elapsed since the Big Bang. Little wonder they escaped our notice for so long until man and BT first came together in void out and left nothing but Carillium in their wake. Many of these claims are yet to be verified, but I believe that this is a fair summary of the scientific community's current consensus on the matter. No pun intended. I shall soon be heading west with the first expedition, and I look forward to learning more about Carillium and its connection to the beach along the way. So I guess we'll find Hartman along the way since he went west as well. Yeah. Not going to explain the yeah. secrets of the game that easy by reading this freaking lore text. No, but it was pretty interesting, though, like the theory part. For sure. Chiral symmetry. Heartman again. The word chiral comes from the Greek kir, which means hand. It could be chiral or chiral. Chiral. I'm saying chiral. Care, meaning hand. Compare your left with your right. They seem similar in both size and shape. Yes, I'm actually going to do that. Let's see. Yeah, they're pretty much the same. What about you, Katie? Um, I'm pretty sure they're the same. Yeah, I mean, they duh, the right? Same. Now face your palms <laughs> away from you and place one hand over the other. Palms away from you? They're not exactly the same, I guess. That's weird. That's kind of true. Whoa, my hands aren't exactly the same. Not quite exactly. Weird. Anyway. Okay. <laughs> Maybe he's right. <laughs> place your palms together and voila, a match. It's as if one hand is the mirror image of the other. But again, if you were to exactly compare the mirror image of your hand to itself, you would see that the two are not identical. This is the essence. This is the essence of chirality. The state in which the mirror image of a shape does not match the original. What? It has been theorized that BTs are mirror images of ourselves. Were we to exist in the same point in time and space, our shapes, as it were, would not overlap neatly onto one another, save onto one another, save in reflection. When our particles meet in their opposites, a void out occurs. The new form of communication we have devised utilizes beaches, which are akin to mirrors reflecting this world and the other, hence the term chiral network. 
Ah, the beaches help us to see reflections of the world beyond death. That's pretty dope. Trippy. Okay, this next one I have high hopes for. It's called Necrosis and the Ancient Egyptian View of Life and Death. Let's go. Wow. Necrosis and the Ancient Egyptian View of Life and Death. Heart Man again. This guy is the, the conspiracy theorist on deck, as we can <laughs> right? see now. I can't wait to meet this guy. The Egyptians believed that we humans were composed of two elements, the ha and the ka, the body and the soul. Various texts expound upon their nature in detail, but perhaps it is simplest to conceive of them as follows. The soul is that which joins with the child in the womb and gives life to the body. It is also that which departs from the body upon death. Ergo, the body is simply a vessel. Should the soul return to it, it will live again. This is precisely what is observed in near-death experiences. A soul separates, albeit briefly, from its body. The Egyptians believed death not to be an instantaneous change of state, but a process, a process by which the soul moves from one realm to another. But this process itself has changed thanks to the death stranding. In the normal order of things, when death occurs, the soul vacates the body and passes into the seam. From there, it transitions to the beach and only then on to the world of the dead. But after the stranding, a soul that has already made its journey to the beach may attempt to return to its body in this world. What? What? Really? That's what's happening? Holy shit. It was hard to believe at first, but the process of necrosis provided proof of this phenomena and was difficult to deny. This is why it is imperative that we burn the bodies of the dead. The body must be destroyed to sever the link with the soul. Only then will the soul be free to journey to the world beyond. Whoa, so, yeah. so death is broken, kind of, in this universe. That's kind of scary. That's fucking horrifying. Well, that was the last thing to read. Very cool. Cool. We have a new memory chip that we acquired. What is this? Is this the one? Oh, I gotta unlock it. Somewhere. The log? No. No, no, no. No, we wanna go to messages, because we have mail. So we actually got some mail as well. This is not as interesting, though. This guy was just saying that, uh... The oxy helped, but more than the oxy being connected has given everyone hope. At that first way station west of Capital Not City, said Benjamin. Sam the man. Oh no, he said Sam the man. Hilarious. <laughs> He's our buddy. Okay, distribution center west of Capital Not City. Interesting. So distribution center. This is way station. So we should keep a note of that when we're collecting extra packages. Sorry, Sam. Bad news. So he said thanks for the delivery and all that. Without porters, the whole system falls apart. They need more people, basically. George Baton at the way station used to be a reliable porter, but it's like pulling teeth to get him to even make the simplest delivery. He also makes a premature delivery joke saying he's liable to lose half his load en route. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> so that wasn't as freaking important, but all right, here we go. Quality first. Again, Benjamin. How's BB doing, Sam? I hope you've managed to avoid autotoxemia together. By the way, I've been wondering, how are your porter grades these days? Getting better and better, I imagine. Or maybe you don't really care about that stuff. Well, in case you do, I thought I might give you a quick primer, since I know it can be confusing. Not really. It's kind of just like a ranking system. Bridges have developed a unique system to evaluate porter performance, and it focuses on five categories. Cargo condition, delivery volume, speed, bridge link, and miscellaneous. Obviously, the aim of the game is to get high grades in all five categories. If you ask me, though, you should prioritize cargo condition. What's the point of lugging something halfway across the continent if it's smashed to bits in the process? Sure, some people aren't all that bothered. Some will even let you get away with up to 50% damage or so, but come on. Come on, man. It's not right. Right? If you fucking bring my package to me, 50% not yeah, damaged. That's fucked up, right? <laughs> Imagine if you ordered a dozen thin gamma jigs. What? And half of them were broken. No, it's definitely better to put condition first. Treat your cargo with care and respect, and you'll be fine. You'll be rewarded with way more likes. Trust me, like. This was my motto back when I was a porter. Oh, he was a porter when he was a young man. Very cool. 
<laughs> it wasn't always easy, as you can imagine. Sometimes things got dicey, but I learned to hang in there and deliver my cargo in one piece. You do well to bear that in mind, Sam. You've got the potential to be a way better porter than I ever was. Nice. We're going to be the very best at they delivering packages. <laughs> so that... Yeah, I want to play Pokemon. <laughs> right? That was the end of this episode. If you listen to us read all that, thank you so much for sticking it out. Consider subscribing to the channel and liking this video. But above all else, go play some video games and have a nice day.